everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video obviously from the title you know is little miss margot's autumn winter clothing haul i'm really happy to do this video if you have a daughter or if you've ever picked out clothes for a little girl or even yourself as a woman especially if you're more feminine then you know little girls clothes are so much fun so i'm very happy that i have a daughter now that i can buy clothes Four. she is eight and a half months she's growing super fast just throwing it out there this video is not sponsored pretty much everything in this video was purchased by me although we do have a couple things that a couple family members have sent us and I do have one thing that was sent to us by a brand that I just want to show you but it's not this isn't sponsored at all but anyway let's go ahead and get right into it okay so to begin we'll start with the things that I purchased from Target it's pretty much Target and H&M. There's some Carter stuff in here that I purchased at Target. But anyway, this first dress I picked up at Target. It's colorful. If you know me, then you know I'm not big into color. Obviously, I'm wearing black right now. But since I have a little girl, I wanted to not deprive her and, and take colorful things away from her because it's not fair and i think looking back on cute little girls clothes that are colorful is really sweet i love this little print this definitely screams fall it's yellow it's really it's actually more golden and it has leaves on it and it comes with these little yellow bloomer bottoms however since the weather is changing it's long sleeve it's perfect i like to put um little like pink leggings on with this or like knee high socks but i always put these on her if she's wearing this just as a dress obviously because you know protect your modesty you don't want a little diaper showing out there for the whole world so yeah, I thought that was cute and this is from Target. The next outfit is also from Target, but it is by Carter's. You may have seen this uh, this outfit on her before because I showed it in a vlog recently. The print kind of screams spring to me as it's butterflies. However, it's long sleeve and it comes with these plain pink leggings. So it is definitely for fall. I love the little peplum ruffle, you know, part here and the pants just fit right underneath it. So it looks like they're wearing like a little dress top kind of like tunic style top and yeah I just think it's kind of adorable it has two snaps here to help it go over their head easier and like I said it comes with these pants now I'm the type of mom who loves buying things that come with a top and bottoms because then when you're done with this you can still use these. And if I didn't wanna put these pants with the top it came with, I could always put them underneath this because the pinks match. I like to just think ahead when I'm purchasing clothes, how can I use this in another way? The next outfit is this cute little, I don't I don't know if that's burnt orange or rust little top. I think this is adorable. This is from Target, it has a little bow detail right here. It came with these little blue jeggings and I have a love-hate relationship with these. I do not think this goes together. I typically put black leggings on when she wears it just because these just aren't it. But I do like these if we're doing like a solid color shirt or even like a sweatshirt or something but I don't think this goes together. However, like I said, get the most out of your outfits Get it even though you don't like it, you can swap it out and use these for something else. But I just love this little top, it's perfect for fall. All right, and the final thing that I purchased from Target, which is a stretch for me, I like leopard, but when it's done right. This leopard is clearly for children, like an adult probably would never wear this, <laughs> this colorful leopard style dress, but I just thought it was adorable when I saw it. I love this little bow, I'm all about the bow for her. It has this little keyhole here. I don't know why that's such a big thing for like little girls clothes, but I love it. It also, like the yellow dress, came with these little bloomers. It is cute for now and I love it for those days when it gets a little bit cold but you know, you still want her to be cute and dressed up. All right, so we're gonna split the Target and the H&M up with some pajamas. I only have two to show you but I think you're really gonna like both of them. So if you follow my vlogs for a while then you'd know that for Sebastian, we pretty much exclusively only purchase his pajamas at Gap because I just think the quality is really nice and they last. When he turned two, I bought him two T pajamas there and he just stopped wearing them now at age three and he just turned three a couple months ago. They don't get holes, they don't look dingy or anything and so I can't wait to begin doing that with Margot as she gets older. This pajama set that I'm about to show you is her first two-piece pajama set. She's always worn like the zip up sleepers and I like to keep her in those because of the feet especially now that it's getting cold but Brandon saw this in Gap and we just couldn't resist. It is a Disney princess two-piece pajama set so it's this top with the matching pants and on the top and bottoms 
like surrounded by a little laurel plant is Belle and Aurora and Snow White, Cinderella and Tiana. I think that's all the ones that are on here. And I just thought it was really, really cute. And she'll be able to wear this into the springtime because this is six to 12 months and it's very long on her because um, she's like a little shorter baby. So they're, they're the cutest little thing. When I showed them on my Instagram, a lot of you messaged me for them. So I will definitely link these below. The next pair of pajamas is inside of this pretty little box. This is the one thing that was sent to us by a brand. This isn't sponsored. They didn't ask me to show this to you all. I'm just doing it because I think you will love what they look like. You may have already seen it on my Instagram, but I'm gonna show it here just in case you don't follow me there. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that now. But anyway, this gift was sent to us by Atelier Shoe. They are located in Paris. So we were very excited to receive a gift all the way from there for our sweet little baby. I love Paris. It's my dream to go. We were supposed to go this year and obviously we can't because of the pandemic. In the meantime, these pajamas will just have to hold me over. Look how gorgeous this pair of pajamas is. It is all white. It's a little bit big for her, so she can't wear it just yet, but it has this gold piping around the neckline and down the center with these really cute gold snaps. And then on the sleeper is a ton of like little French pastries. So there's there's a cake and there's cotton candy and ice cream, but there's, um, let's see, a croque and bouche, there's cupcakes and macaroons, popsicles. It looks like something from Marie Antoinette and the stuff she's famous for eating. So I don't know, I just love these. I think they're so cute, adorable, feminine and beautiful. And this is like the style of pajamas I love for her. Like just something really cutesy and girly and fun. This should carry her into her first birthday, which will have a French theme. So I think it'll be perfect to like have her with like her little balloons in her crib on her first birthday in an outfit like this. Anyway, I will try to link that below. If not, I will put the name of it so it'll be very easy for you to find. Okay, so the next batch of clothes are all from H&M and I'm gonna look a little bit different here in a few minutes because they only sent half my order. So I'm gonna film the rest of the order the last five things that they didn't send once that gets here. But um, in the meantime, I have a ton to show you. So let's get into it. Oh, okay, this pair of pants is also from Carter's from Target. It came with a different top. The top is horrendous, but we really just like these leopard print pants. And like I said, you gotta do leopard right. Some leopard is a little tacky and it just doesn't look right. However, I thought this was really, really cute and would go perfect with like an all black top. But yeah, I just think that these are a great little neutral. Uh, I'm personally somebody who thinks leopard is neutral. And and yeah, I think this can go with just about anything. I'm just gonna quickly show you this top from H&M. It could go under here if you wanted it to, but it could also go with like something black or really anything. So if you like leopard and want like a nice pretty leopard, check these out. They're from Target and Carter's and I will try to, I will try to find the outfit that those come with. Like I said, it came with a top. We don't wear the top. So since I just showed it, this top is from H&M. She has not worn any of this stuff because it just came in. So I'll be able to tell you, I won't be able to tell you the price because they don't have it on the tag. But anyway, it, this top is just a cute little, uh, it's almost like, almost a like t-shirt material, long sleeve top with this little ruffle here at the shoulder. I don't know if I said this before, but pink is a stretch for me. But like I said, I like, I want her to dress like a little girl and be girly and have little girly things. Also, a lot of this stuff, I wanted her to be comfortable enough to just wear it while we're still at home. At least my family is still, but still be cute and comfortable. So I thought this added ruffle here made what could be even like a loungy type top still really cute. And I'd slap a bow on her head and some cute like little leggings or something something with this and I think it would be adorable. Next is this top and you're gonna see like a reoccurring theme as far as like color palette. H&M is really pushing this khaki black, dusty pink, um, all black style this this fall winter and I'm okay with it. I really like it actually. Um, it's just kind of right, like right up my alley. This top and it's zebra print khaki and black. I think it's adorable. Like I said, we're staying at home so it's nice for lounge but it's like a little bit elevated because it's not just like a plain onesie with that's long sleeve where it's like really dressed down. It's still really cute. So I love this for her. All right, next and it's a lot. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dresses and let's just talk about dresses i feel like with the pandemic and the resurgence of 
loungewear and sweatpants. We've kind of gotten away from dressing cutesy and 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 i'm speaking more so as an adult and as adults in general not so much our kids but i've noticed that the athleisure now that it's at an all-time high and the sweats and the dressing down has trickled down into our kids i'm not the type of mom who likes my kids to wear their pajamas all day long i don't even like to wear my pajamas all day long but i like to be comfortable during the day so especially at the beginning of the quarantine i was getting out of my pajamas and putting on like basically a sweat outfit and I can't do that anymore and I've also stopped doing that with Margo with Sebastian he can get away with it with like Nike sets because it's you know little boys look cute and that kind of stuff but with Margo I was noticing that like I don't have I didn't have any photos of her like to look back on where she was in like a cute little outfit it was all starting to become just like dressed down little sweatsuits that were like passed on from her brother or just like solids and I love looking back on my little girl clothes and being dressed up and cute. And so that is why I chose to do all of these dresses. So we're just gonna quickly go through them. And I think she'll look back and love it as well. So this is a khaki colored dress and it has this scallop detail around the collar and some really cute pink and yellow uh, flowers. It's just adorable. It's a little dress. I can see her wearing like some knee highs with this and because this will take her into I think it will go up to 12 months. She'll be able to walk in this as she gets a little bit older and I can put little shoes on and I just think like knee highs with little like ankle boots for like little babies that um and like a dress like this would be so cute. Moving on to the next dress again with the khaki and black. I think I purchased something else with this exact same print for her but a different style outfit completely and it's not here yet. But again, same kind of concept as the last dress. Billowy, comfortable, not dressed down but not overly dressed up. Really cute and she has the ability to move and not you know feel like oh I'm wearing a dress mom put me back in my sweats you know that well that's what I would imagine she would say um also I want to point out that some of these clothes you'll see or you may not notice it depending on how I'm holding it but it had they're from the H&M conscious collection and if you saw my sustainability video which didn't get as many views as I was hoping it would get because it's so important however the people who did see it were all saying that they loved it and so I do encourage you to watch that because I'm talking I talked about a lot of the ways that we're trying to become a little bit more conscious of the environment and the damage we're doing to it but anyway so when I purchased a lot of these clothes especially the ones from H&M because they do have a conscious collection I tried to get them from there and um, just because it makes me feel a little bit better about the way I consume but anyway if it gets cold you can always put some leggings on underneath it I think I bought something else from H&M that comes with black pants and this would be adorable underneath it um, also these black pants would look good underneath this top or even the pink top that I've showed already so you know you want to get things that you can keep reusing and I think that this would just be adorable next is another little dress well like I said they're all dresses at this point but this dress is cut a little bit different than the last two the hem is down here versus up here and it gives more of a ruffle effect at the bottom this one I was thinking of like more so like late into fall and into the like holiday winter Christmas season just because of the color but I mean, she can obviously wear it now. I think it's adorable. I love, love, love how basic this is. It could also be paired with a pair of pants if we wanted to, but it is actually a dress and put like, you know, a little bloomer on underneath it and she's good to go. I just think that this is cute. Put a little bow in her hair and it's feminine. She'll look back on her photos and think like, oh, I love that little, or at least I hope she will look back and say like, oh, I love that little dress. And it's not even like that fussy, you know, little cotton dress, long sleeve, appropriate for the season, comfortable, fun, booyah. This is the next dress. This also kind of struck me as holiday. However, she could really wear it whenever because it's black. I think they call this like little ruffle effect butterfly. I'm not sure, but I just love it. I thought it was so cute. Again, it's kind of like the last dress. Well, not cut the same way as this has a hem right here, but it's just like the last one and pretty much all of these. It's comfortable and cute. This dress is pretty much the same dress as those first two that I showed you just a dusty pink color it has the scallop around the neck and around the sleeve 
and yeah just a basic basic pink dress you could put the black pants under this if you needed to i have a pair of pink pants that came with another dress that i'm going to show you but those can go on underneath this again this is a dress but can be worn as like a long top if you wanted it to and um if not you can just put some bloomers on and i just ugh, i can't say it enough comfort 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 but dressed up just enough and i just i love that i think it's so cute next is same type of dress basically it doesn't have the scalloping around the neckline or at the arms but it's it's kind of similar to one of the other dresses i showed but this one is a lighter pink still pretty muted though it's not like a pop pop of pink but it's it's a muted pink with little black dots all over it and they're like speckles almost. I find it to be very, very cute and girly. Again, you can pair the black pants with this or let it go with a little bloomer underneath, a little pink bow, and you're good to go. And I don't remember which ones. I'm assuming it was the black polka dot and maybe like this one. Both of those came with two pairs of black leggings, so she is good to go on the black leggings front. And we'll be able to wear those black leggings with anything, like any other top from even other, you know, brands. And the last outfit is another cute little dress that came with some pants this one is striped pretty much cut the exact same way as the other ones comfort is what we were going for I love this dusty pink color I can't say it enough and I love that they did it in a stripe you have like three different directions of the stripe the sleeves are kind of going outward the top is horizontal and the bottom is vertical and it's just really really cute I put this one on her just to see how it would fit and we loved it and we, I love that she'll be able to grow into it because like I said these are all going this one is nine months and she's little so it'll be able to you know take her it should be able to take her into her birthday in February which will be great and it came with these pants that match the exact same color however if we wanted to do like a little monochrome moment with that first top I showed you we can pair these together they're only slightly different uh maybe not but you know what these would go with oh where are we there this little top I think that would be adorable or we could do you know the black pant obviously with these hi guys so it is almost a week later not quite a week but it's probably almost five days since I filmed the first part of this haul and that is because H&M took forever to send the rest of it I'm not complaining I really know that you know they're slowing down from the pandemic no big deal they are here now they're all from H&M and I have a couple outfits that have the same print but they're two different style outfits so I'm gonna separate them so we don't get them confused but the first one is this leopard print dress i'm very into the dresses as i mentioned earlier in the haul but what i loved about this is that it came with a bow i don't know if i would put the bow on two with this just because it's a lot but this is great with an all black outfit or if you just need a little i don't know pattern or something with a different outfit but the dress itself is adorable. So I'm really happy with this. Um, and it's also from the Conscious Collection. So the next outfit, I'm gonna show you three of them. Um, Margot needed lounge and something that wasn't a dress, but something that she could lay in if we just really had no plans. I still dress her even when we don't have plans, but just like a comfy Saturday outfit because we definitely get dressed during the week. And I got her these little ribbed sets. So it's a pair of pants and a matching top they're ribbed hopefully it'll focus so you can see that but yeah see they're ribbed they're cotton and they are super comfortable so I got her a green one I got her a gray one so same thing gray and I got her that same dusty pink but the reason why I got these, not only does she need lounge, is because they can be mixed and matched. Not with each other, but she can wear these under a different top. She can wear it like, you know, something with florals on it and have these on underneath it. I like to buy sets that have two pieces because then you can use them for different things. The next outfit is this cute little dress. I figured if we're gonna do it, we need to do it now because it's very, very much fall. But I just love it. I love, love, love little girls in dresses. It has this sweet little floral, white and like pink flower detail to it. And it has these ruffles right here. And I love a ruffle. And I just thought it was adorable. 
she doesn't wear shoes yet she has um some freshly picked moccasins and i feel like those would look really cute with this but yeah just a cute little dress for her to romp around in so the next thing i purchased was this sweatshirt it has that same um it's not leopard but it's like the dot print i showed a dress earlier in the haul that had this exact same print. They're really pushing some of these patterns this season and I don't hate it because I think they're really cute and neutral. This is also from the Conscious Collection, which makes me really happy because we're trying to go that more sustainable route. And I don't know, I think this is cute. It also came, well, it didn't come with, I think I had to buy them both, I'm not sure. Can't remember if they sold it as a set or separate, but it has matching pants, so I bought the matching pants. And um, I, I don't know. I may not pair these together I think I could but if not black leggings underneath this or like little baby blue jeans would look cute or an all black top or even pink or anything would look good with this and I just you know me I love having the opportunity and the option to break apart my sets and make the most out of them and then the final outfit it's that same leopard print again but I bought this also from the conscious collection it's this cute um like little onesie bottom it snaps in the bottom just a little lounge outfit because the other one was a dress and it has these cute little pants and they i love how they have the roll in the top it kind of reminds me of um like little yoga pants but yeah i just figured she could you know lounge around the house in these and hopefully she'll be walking by the time so i think that'll be so adorable with um to have like these cute little things but mainly the second part of this order was just lounge anyway i hope you liked this haul i'm going to try my hardest to link everything that i showed in the video because i just think that h&m killed it this year as far as their baby clothes for the little girls search their website because you guys will you can find gems and even if it's just like an outfit you have to break apart and you don't use the bottoms to it get that top anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one bye